And hey, Frontline fans, welcome back to Comic Frontline. And fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do that all important comic book review so you, the fans, can make a decision on what comic books to buy. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about probably a long awaited title and highly anticipated uh, Batman Beyond Rebirth uh, special. That's right, guys. Terry McGinnis is back, uh, no longer suffering from the effects of. Um, that crappy ass event that we had, Convergence or whatever, or Future's End or whatever all that crap was going on. And uh, we got Terry McGinnis back. So this book is written by Dan Jurgens, uh, and the artwork is done by Ryan Sook. Um, the artwork is okay. I feel like the colors hold this down. I, I feel like uh, this book should pop a little bit more, have a little bit more detail. Uh, Batman Beyond in the costume, Terry in the costume looks nice. But when did Terry actually get red eyes? Uh, on the cover, it shows it with white eyes. And in the cartoon, it's always been white eyes. And the white seems to make the costume pop. With the red eyes on here, it kind of, I don't know, it matches the rest of the costume. But it doesn't seem to work for me. I'm, I'm not sure. And they're like too big. Uh, I just, I don't, I don't like the red eyes. And I thought, oh, maybe it's just an error or a flashback. But it's not the case. They use the red eyes the entire issue. Uh, but the coloring is, is very, like, faded. It doesn't pop as much as I would like it to. Uh, I know they do that in the flash, flashback parts, and it kind of pops a little bit more in the, uh, in the major part of the story. But I feel like there's a lot of characters that blend into the background. They kind of get lost in there. And uh, it's it's not quite as crisp as I would like for a title like this. Um, but overall, I think it's okay art. All right, so what did I think about the return of this uh, Terry McGinnis? Well, in this book, we wind up seeing the Jokers uh, make their return. And it's kind of funny because I was expecting this to happen. You know, I remember back in like 97 or whenever uh, Batman Beyond was on. And I remember, you know, Terry McGinnis always fighting these Joker characters. I'm like, this would be traditional fashion if these Joker characters would show up. And sure enough, I open up the page and there they are, terrorizing uh, Gotham here. And so right away, you wind up seeing Batman Beyond come and crush the, you know, through the train and take out the Jokers. And what this does is it relives his past. And um, it really shows the reader that if you haven't read Batman Beyond lately or if you haven't um, watch the show or don't even know the character at all, it does a nice job at retelling uh, Terry McGinnis's origin on how he became Batman uh, in the first place. He meets up with Bruce, he, they do battle against the Jokers, uh, just everything. It was like almost truly scripted from the TV series, you know, when I, when I read this and I was like, okay, I know what's, you know, what's going on. And so we get caught up on, on what's happening with the Terry, since he's been back, uh, he's living with his brother. We're trying to find out who's the head honcho of these Joker guys. We think it's not the Joker because, you know, the Joker's been dead for years. Uh, we get to get introduced, uh, reintroduced to Dana uh, in the book as well. And so it just gets the reader more familiarized with the characters once again. We see Terry uh, living with his brother, Matt. And uh, as we get to towards the end of this issue, uh, we wind up seeing that a particular character makes their return. And the person that is particular calling the shots or trying to um, raise the Joker back again is... Uh, I think it's Carter Wilson, I think it was, and he's trying to bring back to life, yes, the Joker. So I almost saw that coming. I, I kind of did. They're like really stressing, oh, yeah, the Joker's dead, you know, and then you're kind of thinking, yeah, he's, he's going to make his return. So that's what I thought there. So what do I think about the Batman Beyond Rebirth special? I thought it was pretty good overall. Um, again, it refamiliarizes re uh, the reader on who the character actually is, where he came from. So it's retelling of his origin story. So if you're a hardcore fan, there's really nothing new here. You're just going to have to wait for the true issue number one to get the story uh, 
going forward because this was a setup towards the end. So uh, besides the uh, the uh, red eyes, I don't have a problem with the costume. The costume looked pretty good. And again, once again, that artwork, the characters tend to blend into the background, which I thought was a problem. And I think they kind of need to address that a little bit more. But overall, the book was pretty good. And I'll be checking out issue number one. So now it's your turn uh, for the fans to keep the discussion going. Tell me what you thought of Batman Re and fans, as always, thank you for watching Comic Frontline. And until the next comic book review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. Take care, guys. Bye.